नमस्कार टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लॉकडम्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दिस टॉपिक इज नॉट ओनली यूज्ड इन क्लास 11th 12th बट इट इज यूज्ड इन हायर क्लासेस आल्सो एंड बिसाइड्स दैट इट इज यूज्ड इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशंस सो दिस टॉपिक इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन गेट द कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट लॉकडम्स इन माय वीडियोस आई हैव मेड अ YouTube चैनल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग to go to my youtube channel in youtube search bar you can type my full name dr ajay sharma and a teacher then you can go to my channel okay and if you wish you can subscribe let us start the topic logarithms what do you mean by logarithms let us understand we all know this that 10 to the power 2 is equal to 100 so can we write this simple mathematical fact in terms of logarithms let us see we can write the same information as log of 100 here we see 10 is base so here base is also 10 and the exponent is 2 so the value of this expression will be 2 let us see once again what we have done whatever is base here this base will also become base in logarithms okay this quantity is known as base fine whatever value is there whatever output is there this output will be called as log of 100 and the exponent becomes the value or the answer of logarithms fine let us see one more example suppose we say 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 so we can say that log of 16 to the base 2 here base is 2 so it is base 2 and power or the exponent is 4 it means the value is 4 now what we observe this information can be written in terms of logarithms like this as well as at the same time this information can be written in this form okay it means this symbol is vice versa it is both implies okay so this information can be written as logarithms and logarithm information can also be written in terms of exponents so we can say both implies fine now let us see what happens when we talk in general suppose we have x y and z three quantities Such that x to the power y is equal to z. Okay, how can we write this information in logarithms, and what are the limits and what are the conditions on those variables? So this information can be written as log of z to the base x is equal to y. Okay, but here limitations are there on these numbers or these variables. Okay, so what are the limitations? Let us understand. here the value or the output is a real number okay so this can be any real number any real number it means from minus infinity to plus infinity it can be anything okay yeah? now x and z there are more uh, constraint or more restrictions on those uh, values okay x this has to be greater than 0 as well as z this value also need to be greater than 0 fine so x and z these two values necessarily belong to the positive real numbers okay so positive real numbers x should belongs to fine they can never achieve zero or any negative value okay whenever it happens we simply say logarithms are not defined fine but there are one more restriction on x this value of x can not be equal to 1 Okay, now here the general question comes in mind: Why this value of x is not equal to one? Okay, let us understand now. Suppose I say log of twenty-five to the base one is equal to x. Okay, this is one logarithmic fact. Now let us see if we convert this into some exponent form. What happens? We see that one to the power x will be equal to twenty-five. Now just focus on this. try to understand this what we have deduced we have got the information that 1 to the power something is equal to 25 and my dear students you all know that 1 to the power any real number is just 1 okay so it means this value can never be equal to 25 okay so we say so conclusion is that this base can never be equal to 1 that is why i have written x not equal to fun now let us discuss some questions based on logarithms so in this question we are given that log of x to the base root 
is equal to 3 whole to the power 1 upon 3 and we have to find the value of x let us see how can we find it here by the simple conversion fact we see that this root 8 to the power 3 whole number 1 upon 3 becomes x okay so actually we are getting the value of x by simply applying the exponent fact okay but here we need to simplify it okay so x becomes root 8 means uh, 8 to the power 1 upon 2 and this becomes 9 and 1 10 10 upon 3 this 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 and this is 5 upon 3 so 3 3 also cancel 2 to the power 5 is 32 so x becomes 32 okay so simple conversion fact gives us the value of the variable okay so this is a simple method simple approach by which we can find the uh, answers of unknown values let us find the value of log of 100 when base is 0 0.1 what is the value let us find the value of this expression so here we assume that the value is x any variable we can assume anything now by the exponent fact we can simply write that 0 0.1 whole to the power x this is 100 okay still we need to do some calculations something to get the value of x now this 100 is what this is 10 to the power 2 okay can we write this 0 0.1 in powers of 10 just think about it this expression can be written as 1 upon 10 to the power x this is 10 to the power 2 and what is 1 upon 10 this is 10 to the power minus 1 and 10 to the power 2 by the rule of exponents x and minus 1 will get multiplied so this will be 10 to the power minus x and 10 to the power 2 so base are same and exponents are different we can say that these exponents will be equal so it implies that minus x will be equal to 2 and this implies that x will be equal to minus 2 okay now you can pause the video and solve these two simple questions to get the value of the given expressions and then you can play the video once again to see the solutions i hope you have done the questions now let us see the solutions we can clearly say that root 2 to the power x is 32 we can also do these questions by the application of properties of logarithms okay but the properties are not discussed yet so i'm using the basic method only okay so properties will be discussed in the next video so here we see that the base is 2 so we also try to write the rhs lhs both in terms of base 2 okay so this becomes 2 to the power 1 upon 2 whole to the power x this is 2 to the power 5 okay so both are written in terms of base 2 now let us simplify this is 2 raised to the power x and 1 upon 2 means x by 2 and here it is 2 raised to the power 5 so in comparison we see that the exponent x by 2 is equal to 5 or x will be equal to 5 to the 10 okay let us see the solution of this question so we see that 0 0.5 whole to the power y is equal to 16 now 5 and 16 we are not getting any clue any uh, relation between 5 and 16 uh, we try to write this number into some fractions okay so how can we write so we know that 0 0.5 is just half and half means 1 upon 2 okay we know this fact so let us write this value as 1 upon 2 and whole to the power y here we get a clue that the base can be 2 we can write this expression as base 2 and here 16 also can be written in terms of base 2 so this is 2 raised to the power 4 1 upon 2 can be written as 2 raised to the power minus 1 and y ex exponent here 2 raised to the power 4 these two values automatically get multiplied by the rule of exponents so we get 2 raised to the power minus y is equal to 4 so in comparison the base are same and exponents are different so the exponents need to be equal okay so from here y is equal to minus 4 
in my next video i will discuss about the properties of logarithms and uh, we will do many more questions based on that okay so give your comments share this video to maximum students so that they can get the benefit thank you for watching